Well, I'm really excited to be sharing this video today because it is, uh, I'm sharing one of the most fun things I've encountered in my travels recently, certainly this year. Uh, this video is from a trip I made to the Gia Cliff Dwellings. Guys, they are just amazing. Just wait till you see this place. I don't want to note too, the trip to the Cliff Dwellings is an adventure all its own. New Mexico Road 15 is 45 miles of S-curves hairpin turns and switchbacks uh, and that's the road from silver city new mexico to the cliff dwellings that road was so fun i made an entire video about it well now without further ado here's the video from the guia cliff dwellings <music> The Gia Cliff Dwellings are located within uh, the Gia Cliff Dwelling National Monument in New Mexico. Uh, as I said, it's about 45 miles north of Silver City. In November, I ended up staying in Silver City for two weeks while I was waiting for my reservations at City of Rocks State Park and Coco Fest 2021, just about 30 miles to the south. After settling in in an RV park, I started looking at maps to see if there's anything interesting in the area to explore while I was there. This is how I first learned about the Gia Cliff Dwellings. I have visited a few Cliff Dwelling sites, most notably Mesa Verde National Park in Colorado. Unlike Mesa Verde, where you cannot access the actual Cliff Dwellings without joining a limited number of ranger-led tours, at Gia Cliff Dwellings you are free to walk where ancient peoples walked and lived. At Mesa Verde, you can visit quite a few Pueblo ruins and pit houses, but even those you cannot access in the same way as the Gia cliff dwellings. The caves along the Gia River in New Mexico were used for thousands of years as temporary shelter by ancient nomads. Sometime in the late 1200s, people of the Mongolian culture began to settle in these caves and set up homes. These people built rooms from stone and wood within the caves, harvested food, raised children, and crafted pottery at the site now known as Gia Cliff Dwellings. After a short period of only about 20 years, these people moved on and left the Cliff Dwellings behind. The site was established as a national monument by President Theodore Roosevelt in 1907. According to archaeologists who have studied these cliff dwellings, there are at least 46 rooms in the five caves above what is now known as Cliff Dweller Canyon. It is believed that the cliff dwellings are home to 10 or 15 families. This site is absolutely amazing. The quality of construction to allow these walls to last more than 700 years is impressive. A ranger at the Cliff Dwelling site told me that these ruins are still about 80% intact. Accessing the Cliff Dwellings requires hiking a one mile loop trail that is steep, narrow, and rugged at points with more than 600 steps along the trail. Visitors are able to walk around the Cliff Dwellings. Since the cliff dwellings are in caves located above the level of the trail, access does require walking up a staircase into the caves. Some rooms require climbing a ladder to see inside. After visiting the cliff dwellings, the trail continues down the opposite side of the canyon for where it comes up. There are a number of benches along the trail for those needing to stop for a break. Park rangers strongly encourage visitors to carry water because the trail is moderately strenuous. Food and flavored beverages are not allowed on the trail or in the cliff dwellings because of the presence of pack rats and javelinas in the area. These animals will be attracted to the scent from any spilled food or flavored beverages and would damage the site. Similarly, pets are not allowed on the trail or in the cliff dwellings due to the archaeological sensitivity of the dwellings. The cliff dwellings are so well preserved that as I stood within them, I could not help but wonder what it must have been like to live in these caves some 700 years ago. The Gia cliff dwellings are an incredible site and worth visiting if you're in the area around Silver City, New Mexico.